because I am kind of semi-retired. It's cold. That's all I can do. I could do more, but I'd have to charge you five bucks. I am so happy to be here tonight with my pal Keith Faby and, uh, and this effort in particular. Uh, I don't know if you've looked around. We've got some, some seats that are still here. Our thriving group is kind of coming forward, so you're in the chair. These are normally the places where preachers and priests don't want to be right here by you because that's the spit take area right here in the front row. But we have got uh, a very unique group of people. I'm told 1,150 were committed to coming tonight to watch this premiere, a premiere about a film that talks about and brags about and goes to the history of the city of churches. You thought we were the motor city. We're the city of churches. How about some applause for that? If you get a minute, it's kind of like church. We're not going to have you stand, shake anybody's hand, or offer peace right now. But what I do want you to do, take a look around really quick. I know it's darkest. Yeah, I know we've got Baptist churches represented in the film. Any non denoms here? Anybody couldn't figure it out? I've been there, so I can correct that joke. Uh, it really is something. And I think that the spirit in Detroit, when you look at Woodward Avenue, where we are tonight... You go from Woodward Avenue, from Comerica Park, north to West Grand, and you go north of West Grand. It was called Church Row back in the day when north of West Grand Boulevard on Woodward was the suburbs of Detroit. I know that because we attended church there for 12 years in the city. So it's a joy to be in a place where we can all gather together as brothers and sisters and realize that we... Uh, this, I'm so excited to see this film. Here tonight, and of course on public television, uh, as a boy, I attended Central Methodist just across the street. And, yeah, for the Methodist. When my dad was a boy, he swept the streets right outside his dad's store in Eastern Market uh, in the 40s. And there's a representation of that and so much more in this film. It has everything. Uh, last week, two weeks ago, I celebrated my 30th year at the station, and I stand before you tonight 
more convinced than ever that there can be no better use of public television, PBS, and your local station than to tell stories like this one, the story of the human spirit and, of course, as told. Aren't you encouraged? We're not just part of the melting pot, we are part of a holy family. How about a round of applause for the choir again? What a blessing they have been, what a blessing this film is. You know, I'm encouraged. Uh,
tickets at 313presents.com and Ticketmaster.